I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my channel Rebecca Stitches. Um, so I've got one thing to show you this week and it is my made up Aria quilted coat by Daisy Chain Patterns. Um, it's quite well because I have used a plain fabric I haven't done any quilting um, it's a really there's like one two three pattern pieces to cut out and then it's mainly binding the seams um, so if I wasn't using my fur lined corduroy fabric this would have been a really quick make but unfortunately the fur lined corduroy was really thick um, and then in places like with the pockets where you have to double it over and then you're attaching it to the coat so that's three layers of fabric and then you've got your binding um, yeah my machine wasn't very keen on it so that took me quite a while I do it in little bursts because I just have to go really slow definitely use a walking um, my walking foot that helped a lot and I increase the stitch length when sewing the coat together I use three millimeters and then when adding the binding as well I increased it to like three 3.5 so yeah definitely more work than I imagined it was going to be. So I did put a vote up on Instagram about binding because I wasn't sure which binding to make, uh, to use, sorry. Um, and so there's navy blue, green, like khaki green, and the colour that I've chosen, which is pink. Um, I did want the pink one, really, I think. I'd seen um, on the daisy chain, and I think it, someone from stone mountain fabrics actually that made it but on the daisy chain instagram page someone had like a rusty colored one that they'd made with pink um, binding and i really liked it so um the pink came second and the navy won but as it turned out the navy wasn't quite wide enough so it wouldn't have it would have been even harder to um, bind. So yeah, I went with the pink. So here it is, made up. So yeah, everything is bound, like the edges, the armhole, all the way around, down to the bottom, and then the pockets. So I did both pockets on one side. Here we are, and then I only did the big one on the other side. Um, yeah, these pockets are massive as well. Like, comes all the way up to like that part of my hand. So you fit a lot in these pockets, and obviously they're fur lined because the fabric's furry. So yeah, I've only just finished it. So I'll put some footage of me wearing it in and yeah hopefully I'll get somewhere out of it before Christmas but it's literally rained every day for like the past two weeks so we shall see um and obviously it's not my usual style so I think it's going to take me to actually plan to wear it to actually wear it but I am going to get some use out of it because it is going to be so warm and like so cozy on the inside oh yeah and so i bound all the seams on the inside as well um in the pattern she does mention about binding like the shoulder salt shoulder seam on the outside um but i didn't want to do that just mainly because my fabric was so thick if my fa fabric wasn't as thick I wouldn't have done I probably would have bound it on the outside because I think it'd tie it all in but because it was really thick I just decided to do it on the inside and then obviously like when you're going over the bumps where they meet everything is just really thick and I had to use like the humper jumper a couple of times where it lifts the back of your walking foot up or your regular sewing foot so it'll go over the the really thick parts and sometimes I just as well turn the handle myself instead of using the foot just made it a bit easier so yeah the instructions are straightforward um 
There's like lots of pictures. It tells you how to make bias binding if you want to make it. I like bought some myself. So yeah, I made, let me get my, my book. I made a bust large, grade into an extra large at the waist and the hips. Um, and so this fur line corduroy I got from Guthrie and Garney. I don't think they've got any of this colour left, but they did have like, some other colours. So it's 92% poly and 8% polyamide. Um, oh yeah, like with the sizing, like she grouped sizes together. So I was like a 14 bust, a 16 waist and an 18 hips. But that comes under like group together. So as you can see there, like she groups like zero and two as extra small, four, six, small. So yeah, that's how it's like grouped together. So yeah, if you're not using a thick chunky coat, I think it'd go much quicker quicker and obviously binding takes a while like she does say in the pattern to bind it on the outside so you've got the stitching on the outside because like that's how you do the pockets so because I could done it on the pockets I just did it all the way around um like to make a feature of it um yeah I just oh I did like on my previous video I showed you how I did my foot high round neck adjustment on this, my five eighths of an inch high round neck adjustment. So that's the only adjustment I made on this. So yeah, so hopefully if it stops raining, I'll be able to wear it like on the school run and when I'm nipping to the shops and things. And then the only other thing that I've got, oh, I've got two things planned at the minute. I have cut out, yesterday I cut out the Zoe Tank by True Bias. And I've cut out this version but I've added two inches to the length because um, when I was like holding the pattern pieces up, like that didn't really come anywhere near my natural waist. So yeah, so I've added two inches to the length at the length and short and line and I've made a size 14 um, because obviously it doesn't go to my hips. I don't need to worry about my hips. And I have made it, I've cut it out of this fabric, which I got as a remnant you see it's, got, it's a ribbed, jersey ribbed fabric, loads of stretch in there. I can't remember where I got it from. I don't know. I got it recently though. It might be on one of my hauls actually going back. Oh, Lamarzi. So yeah, I got, um, got half a metre, it was, like a remnant. Um, and this is what I've got left after cutting it out. So I've got quite a big chunk of it. So I'd say, um, yeah, half a metre is probably enough. Because in the pattern it says like 0 0.9 metres, but yeah. Half a metre I had of 150 wide fabric and this is what I've got left. So that should be quite easy to um, run up on my overlocker. And obviously I think I'll do the neck band and stuff on the, you can see, on my sewing machine just to make it more neat. And I'm making this mainly because um, I want some like layering pieces for winter to pop under my, my jumpers um, and shirts and things. So yeah, I'm looking forward to making that. And then the other thing that I'm doing this week is I am, um, let me get the fabric. Um, Julia from Bobbins and Buttons has asked me to be part of her blog for, she's doing like a sustainability blog series at the minute um, and there have been some really good um, blog posts on that. I'll link it down below, you can go and have a look. Um, so she's asked me to do something for that. So I'm going to make my eldest Iris because she's always... Um, loves like me make clothes. I'm going to make her a jumper dress using one of um, Julia's patterns, the Theodore. It's like a raglan sleeve jumper and I'm going to make it into a jumper dress. I need to get on that today. And this is the fabric that I got from Julia. She sent me to make it and it is a French terry. I've used lots of Julia's French terries and they're lovely. Um, let me see. 
the loops on the back. So it's cotton French terry. And then I'm using it with scraps that I've got. And this is one of them. So I use the okra. I'll ask for the okra because it picks it out of here. So this is another French terry that I've got a scrap of. And then I've got these other, got some ribbon that I've just got in my stash and some green ribbon that I've used for something else for, I think it's for my husband. So yeah, all those together. Um, and then I'll let you know when that's up um, and how I've like altered the pattern to make it a jumper dress. Um, so I've taken some inspiration from the high street and I think I'm gonna do like chevrons maybe um, of the two main fabrics. We shall see like, how much I need to cut out because she, now she's like age 10 and um, she's quite tall although quite slim for age I just need to see really how much fabric I've got yeah and cracking on with that so it's a short one this week because like I say I haven't been knitting a lot um, but that coat was taking forever and um, I wasn't really enjoying the binding and the sewing machine playing up a lot so yeah that's why it's taken me a while so what's everyone else making? Oh, and I just want to say, I've had some really lovely comments recently. And Margaret, I have read yours and I'll um, reply. But thank you so much for taking the time to um, comment on my um, vlogs and things. So I think I'm in the middle of knitting a muscle bra hat for myself. Now the weather's changed. And I've just finished knitting a jumper, which is more like a spring autumn jumper really and then I've started um, a petite knit for Stockholm sweater so I think maybe I might just do a separate knitting um, vlog I think because I know a lot of sewing people aren't interested in knitting so yeah I think that might be the next one I bring out um, so yeah thanks for watching um, any questions let me know and did any of you buy any of that corduroy fabric because I know a few of you mentioned that you really liked it and have you made anything with it yet did your sewing machine fare better than mine um it is only quite a cheap like first like entry level brother machine that i've probably had for like seven seven years i think so yeah with the walking foot it definitely helped all right then thanks for watching see you again bye